Hey, Danny. Welcome to Hi. the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So today we have special guest, Danny Gallagher. You are a writer of many, many <laughs> things. Many things. So if we could get the cliff notes of oh, boy. what you do, um, what would that be? Um, um, I, I sit a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marty, a fan. I don't. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, no, no. I write for. I write for a lot of places. The Dallas Observer is probably my most prolific outlet right now. But I've also written for some uh, uh, video games for Jackbox Games for their party packs that are really just kicking ass. At every every new one they do, they come out with something that's just it blows my mind. Yeah. Um, and I also have. Uh, written a new game for a company called snap finger click they made do you remember buzz on ps2 i do not it was no. a game show buzz. like quiz show type thing okay mm. um uh, really i'm selling it great <laughs> sorry martin <laughs> no no it was uh they they make uh party games snap finger click makes party games and they've yeah. come out with one called awkward which i know you guys have very played. awkward it, yeah it's it Jumped is what in. it says experience the awkwardness more for awkward sure. for some than others mm -hmm. yeah no it was that's it was, me it was something di something interesting for sure but we'll, we'll talk about that <laughs> sure. in a little bit and i also do uh comedy around town sketches i'm in the folding chairs comedy troupe one of the longest running comedy troops in dfw and i write for i write for whoever wants to pay me yeah. to hear my smart ass comments about <laughs> things <laughs> so have you uh is, that, is this always what you want to do? Is oh, yeah. yeah. Like working for Jackbox was something I wanted to do since high school. Yeah. Um, they were originally called Jelly Vision. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, and, uh, what was that switch like? Jelly Vision. <laughs> yeah. It, well, they started as a company called Jelly Vision. They're based in Chicago. And they started as, I think they started, and I'm not, and I freelance for them. I'm not full time. So right. I'm not a official capacity. But from the, the they started in educational software and they made this really uh they made this educational game show game called that's a fact jack where kids would like read a book like a wrinkle in time and then they would go play this game show that would test their knowledge on the book and the name uh. of the fake and but it would play like uh the the setup would be like you were a contestant preparing to go on a game show so like when you type in your name you'd meet with a producer and the name of the network was called learn television and when they decided to do a kind of a, a you know, playable, uh, or when they decided to do a video game, which became, you don't know, Jack, um, the, the party game, quiz show party game, um, they used to do something called the gibberish question where it was like, they would take a phrase and then rewrite it with like every word that rhymes with it. So learn television is a gibberish question for jelly vision. Okay. <laughs> so All that's right. a long way to explain something that nobody really I'm sure the company was will not. I'll be getting an email. Um, we, <laughs> no, but, but then uh, Jelly Vision uh, and the games division split off because uh, Jelly Vision does uh, like interactive uh, software for like uh, different companies. Like they do an interactive. Like if you call a phone, like you know the the voice. It, it's not that, but they they make these like guides for companies to that are very interactive and very. Right, right. You know, sound like you're talking to a, pu a person and not a, a human. Head on over to NeoGamer.net for a full podcast episode for our weekly game impressions and top headlines of the week. That, that's one of me. Do we get an interview? Us. Here's one of all of us. We'll make some yeah, cool things. Stuff in there. Brett's also right here. Like this video, subscribe, keep up with all the latest video game news and opinions that you care about right here on the Inner Gamer.